George C. Marshall graduated VMI and served in World War I as an Army staff officer. During World War I, he proved to be talented in planning offensives. In World War II, Marshall served as a general and was responsible for making the United States Army bigger. He also helped plan Operation Overlord, or D-Day, in 1944. He served as Harry S. Truman's Secretary of State and helped Europe recover after the war, better known as the Marshall Plan. In 1953, he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Now that Congress has passed the Marshall Plan and the President has signed it, we can now begin planning what we need to start out with. I need an engineer team here, and I need one here. We need to repair the railroad here, and we also need food and supplies here, here, and here. These Europeans know that I need to know that I'm a reliable leader, and that I'm determined to get this job done. Thank you, Mr. Marshall. We'll do our best. Clara Barton was one of the greatest leaders in American history. Clara was responsible for saving over 500 lives by putting herself in the line of fire to retrieve wounded soldiers from both sides. Clara was known for taking charge of dysfunctional field hospitals. She would travel miles to reach the battlefield to retrieve wounded soldiers. After the Battle of Antietam, the doctors ran out of light and the line of wounded soldiers was an hour long. Clara ran to a wagon and pulled a lantern out and allowed the doctors to keep working. Meanwhile, she comforted and fed the soldiers still in line. Without Clara Barton's leadership, many more soldiers would have died. Clara Barton has taught us all that to be a good leader means putting others' lives before yours. Abraham Lincoln was one of the greatest leaders in American history. He had many great qualities, but two qualities stand out overall. He was honest and he pers um, persevered. After Gettysburg, he wrote the Gettysburg Address and read out loud to the public. By writing, by writing this address, he proved to the American public that he would lead them through this war. We have now engaged ourselves in a great civil war and we will fight for the freedom of all slaves, but those who do not make it will have a final resting place. A special thank you to the Journey Through Hollow Grounds Partnership.